So here we are today, working on our Woodland Mills HM126 bandsaw mill, and we need to get the bearings out of this wheel um, and replace them. And I'm doing it just as a precaution because the other side needed to be replaced and I'm going to assume that these uh, would be a good idea to replace at this point. So, um, also, I was wondering why this feels like it's out a little bit. Sure enough, there's weevil wobbles in there. That means the bearings are shot. Look at that. Well, it's not just a good idea, it's basically imperative. <laughs> Look at that. All right. So these bearings are obviously shot, so now we need to replace them. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is actually uh, untension, well, other than to take the blade off, but we got to get rid of the tension on this belt, so have to go underneath and undo the motor a little bit. This is from underneath the motor, and if we're going to replace the bearings on the drive wheel, then we need to release the tension on the belt. So the first thing we're going to do here is exactly that. One, two, three, four bolts need to have some tension relieved here. I like to use the impact on these. It just makes things easier. Does not take much. 17 millimeter on the top. 16 millimeter on the bottom. And then all you do is relieve this. Seventeen millimeters over here. That gives the motor some play. Now we'll go over to the drive belt and remove that. Okay, the motor's loose, so now we should be able to uh, get the drive belt off here. So I'm just gonna do that. There we go. Our right, drive belt's off. So now we got to do is get this wheel off, and that's actually a little bit loose, which is interesting. This is actually not even the right size. I think 16 millimeters is the correct size. So 16 millimeter, a bolt, a lock washer, and a washer. And yeah, there's no play on the spindle. That's that's all in the bearings itself. Yuck. Okay. Now we got to pull it. So you need a big puller. Um, my neighbor came by uh, the other day, and we did the other side, and uh, he had a really big puller. So I kind of got jealous of that. I went on eBay and bought one. So you may or may not have actually seen my other videos on kind of refurbishing this puller a little bit, but if you haven't seen it, go check it out. So here's the puller. She is installed. And last time we had a, a uh, clamp on this, so I think I'm gonna go do that. Let's get a clamp. Now three quarters inch actually fits on here, but a 7 8 12 point fits better. Well, at least because it's a, it's not a hex, it's a four. So let's see, is this working? Oh yeah, beautiful. Man, that's coming off like butter. See, I was, I, I noticed that the wheel was out and I was thinking that maybe the wheel was improperly cast, but now I don't think so. I don't think that's the issue at all. Yeah, don't even try this if you don't have a big puller. This is actually called a hub grapple. And if you buy one of these brand new, it's about 130 bucks. They're not cheap. Yeah, this, this job is absolutely positively not done without a puller like this. You can't do it. And the band wheels are heavy. Ugh. Pull the wheel off, take your puller off. You won't need that anymore. Now we gotta go actually get these bearings out. Let's go over to the bench. 
snap ring pliers to get the snap ring out. And it's not like these really want to come out. But once you get a side up, once you get a side up, it's pretty easy. There you go. Just come right out. Now we take the band wheel and flip it over. And we need our kit. So you need some space underneath. Preferably centered is good. And then you need... So we need our kit from Harbor Freight or wherever. And then we need to bang on it. We take our sledgehammer, start hitting. Yep, progress. Yep, still more progress. Unfortunately, I can't use that anymore, so I gotta hit the center. That's it. My bearings are out. Grease everywhere. The seals have been compromised in some way. You hear that? I think those are shot. Great. All right, let's clean this up. Give it a brake cleaner. Anti-seize. Don't need much. New bearings. These are 6305-2RS. Once you get it straight, they go not real nice. really smooth. Second one. Now you can you do, if they don't go that easy, you can do it with the puller system too. Um, certainly you, I, I demonstrated that in the other video, but if they're going smooth, then you just want to make sure that you're tapping by the outer race, not the inner race. That's it. Solid. Of course, I had this on a incline here. It would have been better if it was flat. Anyway. <clears throat> Let's put our snap ring back. Snap ring goes back. There it is. Our snap ring is back in the groove. Two bearings are in. Let's go put it back on the mill. Anti-seize. Scoop the whole thing, why not? Next we're gonna take the original washer without the lock washer and one of these from the uprights and we're gonna use this to pull the, the bearings on. Again, you don't want to put lateral forces on the bearings, so you want to pull the whole thing in by the inner race. For my chainsaw stuff, I happen to have made 
this adapter here. It's just a socket, essentially two prongs. And hopefully that's going to help us kind of do the, the in and out thing with this. Let's get the band wheel. Now this would certainly be easier with a friend, but for now, let's put this on. Just gotta get it sort of started. Just a couple of threads, that's all you need. This happened before, I needed to chase the threads. I don't know why, but M10 by one and a half, I think. We'll tap. Get this started. Use this. as she could. So the hammer trick worked. Now, let's take this original bolt and the washer and we'll just finish it. band wheel's now on. That's a wee bit smoother than it was before. Yep, and it's straighter too. Put the drive belt back on. There we go. We'll cinch up those bolts on the underside, and we've got our bearing replacement on the other one. I'm not gonna go through retensioning this because you should already know that, um, but that's, a bearing, that's how to do a bearing replacement. And thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.